Hi everyone, welcome back to Pyro Day 2. In this video, I am going to explore the entire Pyro system with the Carrick. Let's go! And by the way, I have trying to get out of the station multiple times, but looks like there are players. They are already trigger happy. The true nature of Pyro has shown just merely day number two. Pyro is a lawless system. Basically, once you get out of the hangar, you're on your own. Look at that, all those missiles flying around. I think uh, some other players are engaging each other. Maybe this is my window to get out of here. Let's make a jump first. Oh! Oh, okay. I made a jump. First of all, let's take a look at the guy chart. So this is Pyro. Once you zoom in, you have more systems here. So let's go from the closest one. Pyro 1 is the closest to the sun. I assume it's going to be super hot. We got some Lagrange stations here. Pyro L5. We have many, many clusters. Next orbit, Monox. So this might be Pyro 2. So this is Pyro 3. Bloom this is where I'm at right now. I don't see Pyro 4. We jump straight to Pyro 5 over here. The next orbit after Pyro 5 is the Pyro Stanton jump point. So we can jump back to Stanton system. And after that is Pyro 6. This is the furthest orbit. It's called Terminus. Let's check the Arc star map. Enter full screen. And let's find Pyro over here. So this is a Pyro star. This is Pyro 1. Okay, we have a Kiro cluster asteroid field. This is a checkmate station. Cool. Monox, this is Pyro 2, I believe. No moons. Okay. And then we have Pyro 3, which is Bloom. And this is Pyro 5. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Never mind, we do have Pyro 4. It's orbiting Pyro 5. And it says a planet. Okay, let's go back to the game and let's see. Pyro. Oh! Pyro 4. I missed this one. So, Pyro 5, we have six moons. But Pyro 4 is orbiting Pyro 5, which is on its own, a planet. Okay, after Pyro 4 and Pyro 5, the next planet is Terminus. Pyro 6 is where Ruin Station is. So I think the star chart is pretty complete for this Pyro system. What we have right now compared with the Arc star map. Jumping to Pyro 1. I really love the background in Pyro. Look at those nebulas or dust clouds. It's very colorful. All right, we are arriving at Pyro 1. This is the closest planet to the Pyro Sun. Pyro 1, let's see what we have. Rustvale sounds like sister of Lorville. Let's go to Rustvale then. Jumping. I am getting target locked. Headhunter controlled area. Alright, so this is one of the games and I see turrets. Probably gonna get shot at. Let's see. Wow. This is one of the headhunter settlement. There is a cutty landed on the pad. Rock formations. And the houses over here, the settlement. And 
There's, uh, I think that's an NPC ship. It's landed there. Rasvale. Nice. Let's explore a little bit more. Look at this view. It's gorgeous. I wonder those rock formations are they man-made? Sounds like looks like man-made. But they're all over the planet, all over this area. It's very unique. Oh, I see another R Montoya. Oh, maybe that was not a NPC ship. That was a player ship over there. It's a Mr. Montoya ship. Oh, he's trying to land on the rock. Give him a little bit of light. Oh, he did. Nice landing, buddy. I wonder how much gravity there is. Oh, look, there's also plants over there. Oh, massive coronal ejection detected. Oh no, take cover! Holy moly, this is amazing. <laughs> Oh, I got glitched, my HUD and everything. Cool. According to the ARC sky chart, Pyro 1, planet, terrestrial rocky, orbiting very close to Pyro's volatile star. Pyro 1 has high atmospheric pressure and higher temperatures. Look at this nighttime view. Feels like a storm is grooming over there. Oh! We see people fighting over there already. Players been shooting players. Looks like that Kangni is coming after me. Oh, I just want to take a quick look, quick flyby at the settlement. Oh, I think in another video I will go in to explore more. But right now, we ju I'm just doing the flyby tour. Okay, this looks like the settlement in Stanton. Just a little bit more structures over here. Look at that tree, the purple tree in the middle. Maybe those are the plants on this planet. It looks really beautiful. We got a lot of destroyed ships out here. And more rocks formations like this. Awesome. So this is Pyro 1. Let's go to... Cluster FSN 704. Okay, so this cluster I can set course. But this cluster, there is no green dots. Looks like it's there, but uh, we I, I don't think we can jump there. What we'll visit this cluster. Whoa! That was cool. I think it was uh, a gate or something, a rock. Holy moly, this is a rock, a circular rock. There's a hole in the middle that I just jumped through. Mesmerizing. Very beautiful. I can't wait to spend more times at these locations. We still have a lot to explore, so let's go to our next place. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. We are arriving Pyro 2. And... There we have arrived. Ooh, this looks like Herson. Yen's place. Yen's place, alright. Jumping to Yen's place. Monarch Pyro 2 Planet Terrestrial Rocky The Coreless Monarchs 
nicknamed for the toxic carbon monoxide in its part oxygen atmosphere, bears the scars of old mining operations. I see a lot of players. I got a missile lock. Oh no! He's now chasing me. So let's keep going. Oh, look at this. This feels like the acid field on Herson. Oh, there is a tower. I wonder if we can climb up over there. Oh, I think we can. I see a long ladder over there. There's one little settlement over here. There is a tower. There are plants also. Wow, there's just so much to explore. I can't wait to explore those places in detail. Yep, those plants definitely look like those on Aberdeen. There's a settlement over here. I think we are going to have a lot more exploration gameplay once Pyro comes into PU. So playable, so smooth. I only encountered one bug that caused me to suicide. That's it. All right, let's jump to another settlement. Arriving Sunset Mesa. I already see some destroyed ships. Oh, there is a colony landed. I think uh, those are player ships. A destroyed Carrick. And a cutter flying. So now the player trying to explore. Yeah, smaller ships is definitely better to explore these settlements. Wow, beautiful. Look at all those details. Look at the dust effect, my engine. Wow. This amount of detail here. Okay, Pyro 2, let's go to Pyro 3, which is Bloom. Information, Bloom, Pyro 3, planet, terrestrial rocky, this icy terrestrial world has a breathable atmosphere of nitrogen and oxygen and has been overrun by outlaws. Oh, it's going to be a lot of ground activities, but the atmosphere is breathable. Ladies and gentlemen, we are arriving at Pyro 3 in 3, 2, 1. I think we have lakes or oceans over here. Okay, let's jump to Garden Rivera. Full of clouds in the system. Ooh. Wow, those cloud formations on their own is a beauty to explore. You can fly different ships. Such a cinematic look over here. Very thick clouds. Just like Earth, this planet is breathable. So, nitrogen and oxygen. Let's see the garden. Oh, never mind, the Golden Rivera. I thought it was garden. Ooh, we're 6,000 meters away from it, but still covered by clouds or smokes or fog. What a view over here. Are those fungus? Some kind of plants. Mountains on this planet are really high. We do have waters here. Do we have the water effect when we fly by with the ship? Let's see. Nope, we don't have them yet. Oh, too fast, too fast. It's another settlement over here. Wow, so much detail. Mountains are quite high on this planet. 
beautiful. Oh, here we go. This is the Carrick boat. Oh, it's not that deep. I hit a rock underneath me. I really love this planet. So much to explore, so much to see, and beautiful. The view is so nice. It's just an enjoyment to fly a ship above the clouds. Okay, so this is the yard. Oh, are those? They actually planting something. They're planting fruits or, or vegetables or trees or something. <laughs> there is a little farmland here. Very cool. Wow, the view is absolutely amazing. Hello. Oh no, I'm getting attacked. It's A2 Hercules. Yep, that's a player attacking me, all right. Okay, time to jump away. Glad I'm flying a Carrick. Yep, this is Pyro, which is uh, lawless. So anybody can attack anybody. There's no crime set or anything. Let's explore Pyro 5 and then Pyro 4. Wait, I cannot set route to Pyro 5 at all. Okay, I think this is what we can explore so far. We cannot jump beyond Pyro 3. Only the inner orbits we can. While we travel, let's take a look at the arc chart. Pyro 5, planet, gas giant. The largest planet in the Pyro system, Pyro 5, has a striking atmosphere swirled with shades of green and yellow. And it has different moons. This one, Pyro, is one of the moon planetary moon satellite frequent earthquakes rock viral causing spectacular waves in its brackish seas the next moon is a dear a dream pyro 5c planetary moon the crater ridden surface of a dream is interspreaded with rocky hills and jacked mountains the next moon ignis pyro 5a this innermost moon of Pyro 5 is covered in deep canyons and dried riverbeds. No other sign of water remain on its described surface. The next moon, Fugo, Pyro 5e. High amounts of iron sulfide in Fugo's soil turn it a livid shade of yellow black. 5b. Vatra. The thick high pressure nitrogen methane atmosphere of this moon hides a dark, an eerie landscape. The next moon is Vor Pyro 5F. The carbon rich soil of Vor supports unique forms of planet life that use crystalline carbon in their base structure. That's amazing, those six moons of Pyro 5. The, once Pyro 5 is ready, it's going to be amazing. Pyro 4. It's a planet. Astronomers theorize that in the distant past, Pyro 4 collided with a planet-sized mass, warping the landscape and knocking it into the orbit of Pyro 5. So that is the reason why it's orbiting Pyro 5, but it's a planet, Pyro 4. And the last planet in the Pyro system is Pyro 6. It's called Terminus. Terminus is a frigid, barely habitable planet with a methane-laced atmosphere. But we do have a ruin station on Pyro 6. And this is it for the Pyro system. Even though we can only access up to Pyro 3, but we have a glimpse of the beauty and danger and wonders in the Pyro system. And hopefully soon we have the full access of the entire Pyro system of all it has to offer. All right, so this is it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed it. There's so much to explore. Even we only have access to less than half of the Pyro system, but it's already shockingly beautiful and dangerous too. 
from NPCs, from the environment, and from players. So be ready. Buckle up, everyone.